Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. You just heard some exciting news from Zamperla Inside with that uh, press event and announcement that we are so excited today to be standing in front of another donation from Zamperla Organization. Several years ago, they donated, about three years ago, they donated uh, a magic bike ride that now is at the village. And it was an amazing, uh, amazing donation that's brought joy to so many children from around the world. And today we're very excited to have the Happy Swing added to our beautiful village. For many of you who don't know, Give Kids the World is a nonprofit resort. It's about 15 minutes from here. And we serve children and families from all 50 states and 76 countries around the world. And these are children who are battling a critical illness whose one wish is to come experience all the magic that Central Florida has to offer. And we provide that destination. But one challenge for these children among the many that they face day in and day out is if they're in a wheelchair, they're not able to experience as attractions. So they don't get to go on any of the rides and they're often waiting for their siblings and other family members to get off the ride. So three years ago, as we mentioned, Zamperla donated a ride, the Magic Bike Ride, which allows children in wheelchairs for the first time ever to experience being on an attraction. And I have to tell you, if you've ever seen a child in their first time in their life and they get wheeled onto an attraction, they're actually able to experience it. It is probably one of the most emotional experiences you'll ever have. And I'll never forget, um, it was two years ago that Mr. Sam Perla joined us out at the village for his first time and took a tour. And he got on the magic bike ride, which we call Lori's Magical Flight. And we were sitting on the ride, getting ready to go on, and they wheeled this little boy up into a, uh, onto the ride. And his mother standing over on the side with tears coming down her face because she was so excited that her son was going to be able to experience it. You just can't buy that. And these are memories that are going to stay with that family for a lifetime. So we're so proud of, of this a wonderful association that we've had for Zan Perler for so many years. They've been so generous with uh, coin-operated rides and then Lord's Magical Fright and now um, the Happy Swing, which we are going to name after a beautiful young girl who was a, a, a guest at the village many, many years ago who touched our lives. So. We just can't begin to thank you and the Zamperla family enough for this another amazing attraction. So please join me here. The great person here is Pam, what she does. You know? We built a ride. We make money with the children. And I believe that the children are the only innocent in this world. I'm drinking wine, I'm smoking. But, uh, so if I get the disease, maybe I deserve it. No, but a child just born and get already the disease, what a shame, no? So I think that we have to give back something of what we have, especially for children in these conditions. I received many of the parents that go to the village, that they have children that try my ride, write me a letter. One letter especially touched me. Thanks to your right, you, they, they were they written to me, Mr. Zamperla, thank you to you for your right because with the possibility that you give to my child, to give the possibility to ride for the first time in his life one ride. And he was so happy. So, <laughs> I'm so glad. You know, when you see somebody happy, it's the, I believe it's the best thing that you can have. Really, and also I believe that doing something good, something come back to you and make me happy. So when I, I saw so Pam again, I said, Pam, I have to make another ride for you. I have, because I'm so happy, I'm so grateful about what's happening in your village and what you are doing. So here we are. Yes, it's very true. So the one thing I didn't mention is when we were up on the attraction, Lori's Magical Flight, and we're high up in the air, it's about 16 feet up in the air, he looks over there and he says, I think I see a piece of land over there that needs another attraction. And on that day, he promised another attraction, and it's come to fruition today. So thank you guys for being here. We're gonna, you want to ride it with me? We're going to show them how it works? Okay, let's do it. Excited. Why? Oh, I know. I'm really excited. Oh, yeah. There you go. Okay, ready? Ready. You're ready. 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 <laughs> 
ago, Mr. Zamperla was working on a project and he said, could, you know, he'd just love some help with um, how do we make everything wheelchair accessible and accessible for the families and things like that. And so we were just kind of, just took him around and showed him and talked to him about, you know, how we make everything accessible. And he said, well, I'd like to give you a, a, a gift because you were so helpful. And I said, great. He said, yeah, I want to give you another attraction. I said, great. And I was thinking it was going to be one of the small little coin operated. And he says, no, this time I want to give you an attraction. And it was, um, it's called a magic bike ride is how they you know, position it, but we call it Lori's Magical Flight. And so kids can get on there and what the premise is, they, they pedal and then the, it goes up in the air. But for our children, because they don't have use of their legs sometimes, he made it so that they can use their arms to do it. Or for those children who don't have any mobility at all, just they could be on the ride and their parents could make it go. And then, so it was two years ago, he made his first visit to the village and he and I were riding that ride. And a little boy got wheeled in behind us and it was the first time he'd ever been on an attraction. And so mid-ride, he says, I think I see another piece of property there. I need to give you another ride. That's, that's awesome. And that's, that's how it came about. What goes through your mind when you see something like this? You know, I just the incredible generosity. I mean, to take this ride, because they don't sell these, because, I mean, not many parks will buy something like this. It's just that overwhelming generosity and really compassion for the children. Because I think what moves him is he now gets letters from our families thanking him. And as he shared, there was this one particular letter from a mom of a little boy who said, my child has never been able to be on an attraction before until this. So for somebody who their whole life is making attractions, can you imagine what 